Mmm, look at that. Garlic bread. Hey, you want to learn how to make that? Watch this video. You'll get the lowdown on how to make garlic bread better than anybody else. I'll tell you what, it's really good. Hello, welcome back to Texas Cooking. Today we are going to be doing garlic bread. Now for this recipe you're going to need the following items. You're going to need of course some bread. Today I'll be using a whole grain bread. This is just a simple roll. You can use a French baguette, Italian loaf, or whatever suits you the best. Alright, or whatever you have on hand. You're going to need garlic. You're going to need parsley. You're going to need butter. Okay. And for this recipe, I'm going to use one stick of butter, which is a half a cup, okay? Now, I have that already cut up, and it has been warming to room temperature, so it will be soft and easy to work with. I have about a third of a cup of grated Parmesan and extra virgin olive oil. We're going to combine all of this. I'll show you how we do that and make some great garlic bread. Now, once we get our garlic grated up, or minced up actually, um, and it looks sort of like grated uh, Parmesan cheese, and the specks are about the same size, then you want to go ahead and add that to the butter that you've softened, okay? Now, to do that kind of mincing, if you want to know how to do that with garlic, I have a mincing video that uh, tells you how to do that and it's called garlic. So just go to that video and you'll get the lowdown on how to do that technique. Now when you're breaking that bulb down if you want, uh, you don't have to smash the bulb the way a lot of people do because it breaks all of the, uh, the segments apart. If you want to use all of the garlic at that time that's fine. Otherwise all you have to do is just push your thumb to the top and peel it back a little bit and it's easy to get to these. Uh, otherwise, I recommend keep them in, keeping them as a closed bulb, and that way, that bulb will last a little longer. It will keep a little better, and it will be a little fresher when you need to use it. Okay, now let's move right on to the next part here. I'm going to want to add some parsley to this. Get this out of my way. Now, what I have is just some plain parsley. This is something that doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, but what it does is it has a, a visual effect with people. When they see the little green specks on their uh, toast, well, they, they associate that with garlic for some reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because restaurants did it for a long time, uh, but they do. So if you'll do that, it adds a nice visual effect to the toast. It doesn't really do much for flavor, but it looks nice. All right, now the Parmesan cheese that we have there, let's go ahead and put that in. Now, where does the olive oil come in? Well, I'm going to add olive oil to this, and for good reason. This helps to uh, soften this up some. It makes it much more spreadable. But at the same time, it also helps to balance some of the fats. What does that mean? Balancing those fats means that you are producing a healthier product. we got a lot of butter in this, okay? So that's not exactly healthy, right? Well, we want that butter to have something to carry it out. So the uh, monounsaturates in this will cling to the saturated fat in the butter and help to remove that from the, your body. Okay, so it produces just a little healthier garlic bread, and I think it tastes a little better. Next, the thing we want to do is to take a fork, your average fork, and just mash all of that together. Once you get all of this mashed together real well, it's ready to spread on your bread. Okay? This doesn't usually take long. Now that dried, grated Parmesan cheese will actually have a tendency to produce a really neat effect on the bread. It will puff up just a little bit and pop sometimes just like popcorn does. And uh, it, it, it gets a little bit bigger. It looks really neat on the toast. It tastes really good on the toast. What will you try this? 
go. Okay, we have our garlic spread. Now what we want to do is to cut up our bread. Let's get a knife here. Now, I could cut this in several different ways. I could just half it if I want and butter it up, put it in the oven, roast it, and have a uh, garlic bread that's soft in the middle. And that's really nice. I can make slices out of it and toast those under a broiler. That's really good. That's what I want to do on this one. And of course, you fix yours however you like. There we go. Nice even slice. Remove those two heels. We're going to spread these up. I'm going to use the same fork that I mixed it with. Look at that. I like that. Now, I want to get these covered real well. And they don't have to be covered too heavily. Just a nice, coat, nice coating like that. And I'm going to put those under the broiler. And we're going to have some absolutely wonderful garlic bread in a moment. Let's quickly review our ingredients list for the garlic bread that we're just making. Now, I used five of the cloves of garlic, one stick of butter, that's half a cup, about a quarter to a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese grated. This is one and a half teaspoons of parsley flakes, or if you've got fresh parsley, chop up about the same amount. And about a third of a cup of olive oil. You want to go use a good quality extra virgin olive oil for this. It does make a difference on flavor and uh, it's a quality item. Okay, So, there's your ingredients list. I hope you enjoyed this bread.